This is Pastor Tony Collins from the House of Worship in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and I want to thank you for allowing me to come into your home and spend a few, few moments with your family. Uh, God's on your side. I don't know what you're, what's, what you're dealing with. I don't know what's happening in your life, but the word for today is that God is on your side. I can't hear that enough, that God is on my side. So let's go in, into the uh, uh, sanctuary and listen to the message about the power that should be released into your life when you understand, when I understand that God is on our side. Christ is invested in us and so invested he died on the cross. He's involved with us. He's involved with us because even after he died on the cross, he and went back to heaven and take his rightful place at the right hand of God the Father. He sent God the Holy Spirit to show his continued involvement with you and I. He's continually invested in you and I. Here's a news flash for us today that God rewards us based on our level of involvement that benefits the kingdom of God. Oh, I can't get no help in here today. God rewards us based on our level of involvement, our level of investment in the in that, that benefits the kingdom of God. Let me prove it to you biblically. Grab your Bible. Let me grab your Bible. Turn with me to Matthew. Christ speaking. He's saying that, talking about the kingdom of heaven. He's saying the, the, the kingdom of heaven is light. For it is just like a man about to go on a journey, who called his own slaves and entrusted his possessions to them. And to one, he gave five talents, to another, two, and to another one, each according to his own ability, and he went on his journey. Immediately, the one who had received the five talents went and traded, or went and invested with them, and gave and gained five more talents. In the same manner, the one who had received the two talents gained two more. And he who had received the one talent went away, dug in the ground, and hid the master's money. Now, after a long time, the master of those slaves come, came and settled accounts with them. And the one who had received the five talents came up and, and brought five more talents, saying, Master, you entrusted me five, ta five talents to, to me? See, I have gained five more talents. What did the master say? The master said to him, well done, good and faithful slave, good and faithful servant. You were faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Now go down, go down to verse 25. Uh, same thing happens with the, with the second, with the second. Guy, guy who has the two, he goes out and gets two more. He brings in four. He says the same thing to him. Go down to verse 25. Now, this is the one who got the one. He dug a hole. He came in. He said, hey, man, here's your, here's, here's your money. He said, I was afraid and went away and hid your talent in the ground. See, you have what is yours. 26, the master. But the master said, answered and said to him, you wicked, lazy slave. You knew that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I scatter no seed. Then you ought to have my money in the bank. You can at least put the money in the bank. And on my arrival, I would have received my money back with interest. Therefore, here it is, therefore take away the talent from him, from the guy who has the one, and give it to the one who has ten talents. Now, I'm going to try to help you now. I'm going to try to help you. You see it. You see it. God gives you resources. He gives me resources, and he's looking for you and I to invest those resources into the kingdom of God to bring benefit back to the kingdom. If I invest those resources into the kingdom of God and they provide resources back to the kingdom, they increase themselves, his response to you and I are, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a little. I'm going to make you faithful over a lot. Process, process, but if you are not faithful over the little, not only is there no good and well done, 
but it is despicable, shameful. You blew it, man. Let me take what you got and give it to the one who invested the best. Now stay with me. I decree, the Holy Spirit decrees today that we have, based on this parable, we have elevated the blessing above the blessing. We have elevated the blessing above the blessing. I'm going to try to help you today. Can I help you today? God is on your side. God is on my side. As a result of God being on my side, that I'll be, I'll be a difference. I'll be a change in me, right? Let me, let, me, let me give you the example. See, there are things that we do at church that we would never do at work. See, the work is not the blesser. So you, you, we look at work and say, well, I go to work, and so I, money flows out of the work, so I, I got to make sure I take care of the job. Because if I don't take care of the job, then no, no money. The devil is a lie. That's not where your money flows from. Your money does not flow from your job. Your money flows from the blesser. Let, 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 me, let me give you an example. I'm trying, I'm trying to help you, man. I'm not, I'm not talking to anybody individual, but I'm, I'm giving you the word. I told you there's been a shift. Things have changed here. But I want to give you the, the, the straight, absolute truth, okay? All right? H here it is. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not pointing fingers. I'm just going to give you the word. If it gets on you, then get, it gets on you. But you can apply it, and you can, and you, and you can have well done, good, and faithful service. See, see, I would never be late on my job. Mm. <laughs> if, the, if the job started at 9 o'clock, Sister Maybell, Boom, I'm there at 855 with bells on, honey, teeth brushed, shoes shine. I'm ready to go, all right? But I can come to church whenever I want to. See, I, 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 would, I, I, would, I would, if I had, I had a report that was due at my job, to my boss at my, at my job, I, I, you, ain't, you, have, you have to worry about that report. That report is going to be done. It's going to be solid. It's going to be right. I, 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 it's going to be together. But I got a report that, that, that they asked me to do in my ministry at, 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 at the church house. I can either do it or not do it. I don't, it ain't, you know, because, because, I've, because I've elevated the blessing above the blesser. Hmm? See, see I, 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 will go to the, I will go to my job and my supervisor can tell me to do something. I don't care how crazy it is. I, do, I will do it anyway because I, 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 mean, I got to keep this job. But you can come to the church house and the man of God can ask you to do something. And you act like, man, that I, get to that whenever I, I get to that whenever I want to. Why? Because I have lifted the blessing. Hmm. I've lifted the blessing of love the blessing, man. I have, all right? And we see it over and over and over again. And so I keep telling myself everything's good because I drive a nice car. I live in a nice house. You know, I, I, got, I got money flowing in. I'm doing better than everything else. And, but, but, I'm, but, I'm, but I'm really looking for the manifestation of the real promises of God. I'm not talking about trash and trinkets, things that I burn up if I light a match to them. I'm talking about deep relationship with God. I'm talking about deep relationship with my, 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 my family. I'm talking about deep relationship in the house of God with the people of God. I'm talking about having impact on a spiritual level. Where is that in my life? No, I can't find it, even though he is the lover of my soul. Because I'm not invested. I'm not investing into the things of God. But God is on my side. God is on my side, and he, he, he is on my side because he is my leader. He is on my side because he is the lover of my soul. And he is on my side because the word of God says that he's a, he's a man of sorrows. I, I know that we will always want to try to act like we got it so together. But we are men and women of sorrows. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, we are. Yeah. Because I don't know about you, but, but, but sometimes, every now and then, Sister Keisha, sometimes life brings me trouble. So, some, some, sometimes it, it seems as though the burdens of life are so challenging and so difficult that it, it, I, I don't hardly know what, what to do other than to, to pray. Mm? So, sometimes, I, I don't know about you, but, but I, I've, I've been disappointed 
I've been disappointed about the, the way my life has gone. I've been disappointed in things that have happened on my job. I've been disappointed in the things that have happened in, in my family. I've been disappointed in how my, trend, my friends reacted to me and treated me. I, I don't know about you, but maybe you don't have any regrets in life. But I got a few things I, I would like to go back and do differently if I could. I don't know about you, but there's people here today in the name of Jesus Christ that have got worries and they have sadness and there's unhappiness and there's mourning in their spirit and they're tormented because they, they wake up in the middle of the night and can't go back to sleep again. They toss and they turn and there seems to be distress on every single side and that they seem to, no matter how they go, no matter which way they turn, no matter how they try to, to, to do it, that it's blocked. Their way is blocked. They're stuck where they are, right where they are. They can't move forward and they can't move back. They can't zig left and they can't zig right. And in that moment where it feels like this is my valley of the shadow of death, that we are, we, we are, we are a people of, of sorrow. I don't know if your heart's ever been broken, but, but mine has been broken. I don't know if... You, you've ever been in a situation where it seems that nothing you tried worked. There's no positive results no matter how much effort you put in. Not really any positive results. Huh? But I came to decree and to declare to you today, today that I know a God. I know a God. His name is Jesus Christ. I know a God who brings beauty out of ashes. I know a God, Brother Tyler, that brings joy out of mourning and that gives praise for heaviness. I know a God in the name of Jesus that will take your sorrow and turn it into celebration. I know a God who can step into anybody's life on a, on a drop of a dime and turn it all around. I know a God today. who can bless with the devil's curse. I know a God today that can make it all better. Isaiah 53 and 3 says, He was despised and forsaken of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Grab your Bible real quick and turn with me to Isaiah as I close here today. Isaiah 61, it's a very familiar scripture. God is on your side. I don't know what you're dealing with today. I don't know what the challenges are in your life today. Isaiah 61, beginning at verse 1. It says, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me. May the spirit of the Lord God be upon you. Because the Lord has anointed me. May the spirit of the Lord God anoint you to bring good news. I came by to bring good news to the afflicted today. He sent me to bind up the broken heart. If your heart is broken today, God sent me by to let you know he's on your side. To proclaim liberty to captives or to proclaim freedom to captives. You may feel like you're boxed in today by the world or by your circumstances or by your situations. But I came to tell you today, if you call on the name of Jesus Christ, if you call out on the name of Christ, that he will free you. In fact, he's already freed you from your bondage. I came to proclaim the freedom to the captives and freedom to the prisoners to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord and the day of the, the vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn. To grant those who mourn in Zion, giving them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of the spirit of fainting, so they will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might, that he might, that he might be glorified. One, one thing I want you to find interesting in the main scripture for us today, Psalms 46, 1, if you look at, uh, I'm sorry, Psalms 46, look at verse 4. There's a river whose streams make glad the, the city of God, the holy dwelling places of the Most High. Verse 5, God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Here's very interesting that we think about the, the city of our God. We, of course, we think about 
Jerusalem. But in the city of Jerusalem, there is not a river. The river that he speaks of is the river of the power of the Holy Spirit. That as a child of God, as a believer of Jesus Christ, as one who is committed to the process of investing in the kingdom of God and accordance to the word of God, mm, that there is a river that is streams through you, that is in the midst of you, that will not allow you to be afraid of what your eyes see, what your ears hear, and what your flesh feels, for you shall not be moved. I'm going to give you this and then I'm going to go home. We have, we have, we've lied to ourselves. You've heard me preach so many times about don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to anybody, but if you got to lie to somebody, please don't lie to yourself. We, we have read scripture, but only half of it. See, we want to not be shaken. We want to not be moved. We want to walk in the joy and the peace and the prosperity spiritually uh, of God. Amen? We, we want to pray and see things happen. We want to speak life into somebody else's life and watch them flourish with abundance. But the devil has told us that we can accomplish that and keep everything the way that it is right now. I have to invest in the process. And the process starts with me not taking anything and placing it above the blesser. Huh? 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 That, 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 that's where it starts. Yes, I can have the Holy Spirit, but not be full of the Holy Spirit. Mm, mm, mm. I, I can have the Holy Spirit, but not have the Holy Spirit flow from me like living water. For me to have the Holy Ghost and, have him, and to be full of the Holy Spirit and have it flow from me like living water to the point that it changes those that I come in contact with and manifests the promises of God in my life, I have got to get in divine order and divine process. Get in divine order in your house. If he's not what you want him to be, then pray, then pray him up. Fast, fast and pray your way to him being what you want to be. But here's what's not going to work is you being out of divine order. Process is that God is ahead of us all, but a man is ahead of a wife just as God is ahead of the church. That's divine process. I didn't, I didn't say that. I didn't, I didn't come up with that. It wasn't my idea. But if you want your marriage to be right, if you want your marriage to get correct, if you want the, the tension and the anxiety to go out of your marriage, you want the strife to go down, ladies, in the name of Jesus Christ, get in divine process. Men, I cannot leave you out. Are you loving your wife the way that Christ loved the church? Huh. Are, are, is, your, is your pride, is, is your, 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 your self, is it being crucified every day that she might understand that she is premier first? I, I, I'm not talking about a diamond ring. I'm not talking about a new car. I'm not talking about a new house. I'm not talking about an expense account to go down to Macy's and buy $100 worth of, of clothes. I'm talking about are you investing into her heart? Are you investing into her person? Because if you're not, you out of order. 
Do you understand, man of the house, that everything stops at your doorstep in the name of Jesus Christ? If it's jacked up at your house, it's because you let it get jacked up. That's divine process. Huh? Go to, go, don't, 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 don't go to your job talking your manager down. Go to your job praying over your manager. Hmm? Don't, don't come to the church house hmm? talking your, your, your spiritual leadership down. Come to the church house on time in the name of Jesus Christ praying for your spiritual leadership. I want you to know that you, you, you'll do with this. You, 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 you will do with this word whatever you want to do with this word. This is between you and God what you do with this word. But here's what you're going to know today. You're going to know there has been a prophet in this place today. The man of God has been in this place today to tell you what it is that thus saith the Lord. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare to you, God is on your side. I declare to you that this message will meet you at the judgment seat of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. If you, if you want to be stronger, in the, are, are, you tired, are you tired of aligning to yourself? And tell him, tell him it's, all, it's all good. I'm going I'm to walk in. I'm going to keep doing it just the way I'm doing it. I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to keep doing it just the way I'm doing it. In the name of Jesus. I, yeah, I'm going to be able to put my hand on that, 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 that special thing. I want to be called. I want to be chosen. I want to be used by God in the name of Christ. Here's the process. Come, come, come 9 o'clock on Sunday, be, be at church. Every Sunday, every single Sunday, every single Sunday, I develop eight hours a day, five days a week to my job. Can I be, can I, is it that I'm putting the, the blessing, blessing ahead of the blessing? Yes. And I'll be flipped, right? I'll be flipped around, if anything, if, 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 you know, if God, if God, if God is, Moses, if God is, if anything, I ought to be working for the kingdom eight hours a day, five days a week, and then show up to the job for like, uh, like for, for an hour and a half on Sunday and check my box and say, me and God are all right now, man. We praise God for that word. Praise God for that message. Hope you found that to be a blessing. I also want to give you the opportunity, as we always do, because that's why the main reason we have uh, this broadcast is for you, those who are, who, are, who, are, who are watching, who are listening, that don't know the Lord, to come into a right relationship with him. There's nothing more important in life than that. And so the way you do that is you, you understand that Jesus Christ died on the cross for you, for you individually, that he died the death that I should have died, that you should have died, that we all should have died because of the things that we've said, we've done, that we haven't done, that we should have done, that are, are, are outside of God's will and, and purpose and plan for our lives. But we can change all of that by simply asking Christ to come into our hearts and to be Lord over our lives. So I'm encouraging you to pray that prayer even now. And if you do that, when you do that, let us know so that we can pray for you and pray with you. Uh, additionally, I want to want you to, to uh, be aware that you're going to be hear, hearing more information about Christian Leadership Academy. And Christian Leadership Academy is a program that God has instituted at the House of Worship to build positive Christian leaders. And so whether you just want to be a, a, a solid Christian leader in your home, on your job, at church, in your community, just wherever you go, you, there's never been an organization, there's never been a home that had too many positive Christian leaders. And God wants to develop you into that, both spiritually and practically, then Christian Leadership Academy is something that you're going to want to be interested in. So reach out to us to get more information. You can also go on our website uh, at thehouseofworship.com and look under ministry and look for the Christian Leadership Academy uh, section and you can uh, learn more about what God is doing at the House of Worship. I want you to be a part of that. I want you to partner with us in this journey. It's going to bless you. It's going to bless your family. It's going to bless your career. It's going to bless your church. It's going to bless all of you as you walk in God's will and purpose and plan for your life. So thank you for allowing us to be part of your home tonight. So uh, we wish God's best for you. Uh, we're praying for you and those that you love that the application of God's word will produce the fruit of righteousness in, in your life and the life of those that you love. So thanks again for allowing us to be part of your home tonight. Have a blessed week in him. We'll see you next week, same time. Bye-bye. Hello, this is Pastor Tony Collins from the House of Worship in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. And I'm so excited to be able to uh, share with you today uh, something that God has uh, birthed in our ministry that's going to bless you and also bless the kingdom of God. And that is Christian Leadership Academy. Um, there is there's no organization that I've ever been a part of that has too many positive Christian leaders. And that's what God wants you to become, and that's what God wants me to become, is to become a strong, positive Christian leader. And so this is a course, it's a year-long course, 
uh, that's designed uh, to bless you, whether uh, it's on your job, in your church, in your family, in your community. It doesn't matter where. Uh, we're going to deal with the spiritual and practical aspects of being uh, a positive Christian leader uh, that, that, that God would have us to be. And leadership, obviously, is not about having necessarily about having a title and having people that report to you, even though that can be part of it. But we all lead in some capacity. And so we're all leading someone somewhere. And God wants us to be people that lead according to the word of God, but also have the practical skills to be able to do that in a way that honors God and that blesses the people that we, we are influencing. And so Christian Leadership Academy, we have a program, uh, as I said before, that's a 12-month-long 12 long, 12 long program. It's a year-long program. Uh, it meets one Saturday a month from 9 to 1030. You can, you can join live and in person, like in, like in a face-to-face -face classroom setting. And also you can join uh, virtually, or you can do it online, okay? Uh, the, 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 the online version, as many people that, that wants to, want to join can join, uh, up to 1,000. They have a limit of 1,000 people being able to join uh, virtually. But in, in, in class, uh, that, that number is limited. So it's going to be on a first-come, uh, first-served basis. Uh, and some of, the, some of the topics that are involved in the, in the course curriculum are topics like fundamentals of biblical leadership, leading like Jesus Christ, the importance of prayer phase one, phase two, phase three, uh, the emo emotional maturity to spiritual maturity. I want to walk in spiritual maturity and understanding my emotions and how those emotions affect people that are, are around me. Transformational thinking, how I can think up or I can think down and the effects of that. The, the, the creating a positive team culture. How do, I, how do I become a good team member and how do I affect uh, the team in a positive way? Leading and motivating, managing team performance, uh, conflict resolution, then the overall wrap up is uh, um, uh, developing a strong team, kind of putting the, all of the information together. Uh, there are quizzes, there are tests, there will be a final exam, there will be a final paper. So this is very, very significant uh, training. As a former college professor, I would say that this curriculum is a, at a college level um, in regards to the learning that you're going to receive. There's also an online curriculum. That there's, there's things that you'll need to do online also um, that will help you to grow and become that leader that God would have you to be. So reach out to us. Um, at 865-272-3703. Again, that's 865-272-3703. That's the church's uh, 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 phone number. You can also contact us through our website, thehouseofworship.com. You can go on our website and look under um, uh, ministry, and you'll see a, 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 a connection for Christian Leadership Academy. That'll tell you more information about it. You can apply. You can get an application online that you can apply to for as well so you can used to apply if you will and so we're excited about what God's doing at in, in this ministry and through Christian Leadership Academy what he's going to do and again um, you pray about it and tell your friends about it because God really is in this time in this season in these last days if you will preparing the church to be taken away but to do that he, we, we need to build strong positive Christian leaders uh, for our churches for our families for our homes uh, for our community so that's what God has calling us to do asking you to be a part of it for God's glory and for uh, our good, if you will. Amen? All right. Thanks for allowing me to share that with you, and uh, have a blessed day. I'll see you next time.